Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Darth Malgus. He made his first appearance in the Star Wars The Old Republic Deceived trailer, which was released in June of 2009. His real name is Varaden, and he's a human male from the planet Droman Kaz that stands a massive 7 feet 2 inches tall, having yellow eyes and pale white skin. Darth Malgus was a physical powerhouse of the Sith Order, being well known during his era for being a near matchless lightsaber duelist, always loving to fight on the front lines of any battle, using his rage and overwhelming physical strength to decimate enemies. He displayed a mastery of Jarkai, which is the art of using two lightsaber blades, as well as using a myriad of powerful force abilities. These include saber throw, force push, force choke, force jump, force lightning, and extreme force speed, which by the way has been noted as being so fast that some observing bystanders couldn't keep up with him. He's also displayed some rare force abilities, including an explosion of force lightning known as Force Maelstrom and using something called a Force Scream, which strikes fear into the hearts of his opponents as well as decimating many things within a certain range of him. And last but not least, he's displayed the very rare art of Tutaminis, which is the force ability to dissipate or absorb concentrated energy, such as energy shots from a blaster or physically holding back a lightsaber blade with your hand. When you consider the fact that all of these abilities were enhanced due to his physical brute strength, as well as him being basically a rage monster of his era, then it's obvious that he was a perfect conduit for the dark side of the Force. Now, Varaden was raised by an adoptive father who was a biologist in the Imperial Science Bureau. And since he was identified very young as having potential in the Force, he trained with several instructors when he was young. But a major turning point in his life is when he killed a Twi'lek servant on his father's estate, just because he wanted to, although she only did something minor. This revelation of the young boy's propensity towards the dark side led to him being sent to the Sith Academy, where he eventually became a Sith warrior and successful commander of the Imperial military. After many years went by, it was ironic that one day during a trip to Genosis, he came upon a Twi'lek slave girl named Alina Daru, who was being mistreated by her master. And in a funny twist of fate, he killed her master and took her as his own. The two of them eventually falling in love and fighting side by side in several battles during the Great Galactic War. And it was during this wartime period that Varaden started using his new name, Darth Malgus. Malgus and his master named Vindican would then go on to recapture the Sith world Korriban. Although Malgus would end up striking down his master for being wounded at the hands of Jedi Master Kao Sindarak. Darth Malgus would go on to lead multiple battles against the Republic, being heavily wounded in one of these engagements which led to him having to wear his iconic respirator for the rest of his life. And although his forces suffered this defeat at the hands of Grandmaster Satel Shan in the Alderaan system, Malgus would go on to be a legend of the Sith Order after his successful attack on the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, being noted as single-handedly killing many Jedi including the powerful Jedi Master Vinzello, which was recognized as Malgus's most notable kill. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Star Wars universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Darth Malgus a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.